So it sounds like that news conference is probably getting underway, which is why we had to wrap Michael. All right, there's Mayor Marianne Baldwin, the Raleigh mayor. Let's listen in. So you're looking at Mayor Marianne Baldwin to the left of her is the city manager, Marshall David. And then on the other side is the Raleigh police officer, uh, Lieutenant Berneo, who's also the public information officer. So uh, we're waiting for a statement. This should be getting underway at any moment. Yes, Let's just listen in. She's about to begin talking. All right, looks like having a, she's having a little bit of trouble with something. All right, here we go. Hi, I'm Raleigh Mayor Marianne Baldwin. Um, with me tonight. <laughs> with me tonight is our Chief um, Police um, Information Officer, Lieutenant Justin Borneo, our City Manager, Marshall Adams David, our Fire Chief, Griffin and Stephen Bentley from Parks and Recreation. This is a sad and tragic day for the city of Raleigh. Just after 5 p.m. today, multiple people were shot on the News River Greenway. There is currently an active investigation. At this time, what we can report is that RPD has confirmed five fatalities. One of them was an off-duty Raleigh police officer. Two others were also transported to the hospital. One is a Raleigh police canine officer. Thankfully, he did not have life-threatening injuries. At about 8 p.m., Raleigh police reported that they had a suspect contained in a residence in the area. Raleigh police are being assisted by numerous local and state law enforcement agencies. I would like to thank Governor Cooper for his swift action in assisting us and providing us resources that we needed. And I'd like to thank him for his support during this very difficult time. I'd also like to thank all of the assisting agencies. We appreciate their help and their support. All of us in Raleigh right now need to come together. We need to support those in our community who have suffered a terrible loss, a loss of a loved one. We need to support the family of the police officer who was killed and also the police officer who was shot. It's a tragic day because Raleigh police have lost one of its own. I just want to thank the extraordinary officers of the Raleigh Police Department who even now, right now, are protecting us and putting themselves in harm's way to arrest the suspect. They care about our great city. They care about the people who live here. And I just want to say we really appreciate them. To all of you watching or listening, I would ask that you reach out to those you love. Let people know you care. And we as a community need to come together to be there for those who need us now. And we must do more. 
We must stop this mindless violence in America. We must address gun violence. We have much to do. And tonight we have much to mourn. We will be back to report later to you this evening. Lieutenant Borneo will give you some times and dates. I mean, times when we'd be available. What I'd like to say right now too is, may God bless all of us in our great city. Thank you, Mayor, for your support for the Raleigh Police Department. It's a very tragic day for us and we ask for your prayers during this very challenging time for us. The chief has been at a professional conference. She is on her way back. We have been keeping her abreast of the investigation. Uh, she's been given up to date, minute by minute uh, updates regarding the situation that is continuously and continues to, to uh, evolve this evening. We can be happy to take any questions at this time. Keep in mind that this is an ongoing an active investigation, and any information is going to be limited. Lieutenant, can you speak to the other people that were shot tonight? You mentioned there were five fatalities, mm -hmm. including that officer. Anything about those other four people that were shot up? That... At, at this time, we, we know that there were multiple injuries. We don't have any information regarding their condition. This is an active investigation. Uh, some were. Uh, that, again, is part of the investigation as we confirm their, their locations. Have you been able to communicate with the suspect in this case? Uh, what we know is the mayor has said that the suspect is contained. That suspect is contained. Well, I understand that. We have been able to actually talk to him, not ask him about the nature of the conversation. It's just that you guys have been able to talk to We can certainly provide an update later. Regarding, again, this is an evolving investigation. Hey, uh, thank you very much. Hey, guys, thanks for coming. Okay, this is going to be, that was our last question. We'll be back here in about an hour, and um, they've got to get back and get to work and, uh, as this investigation wraps up. So we will be back. All right, we just heard from Mayor Mary Ann Baldwin calling mm -hmm. today a tragic day in Raleigh, and that uh, we should thank these extraordinary Raleigh police officers who are certainly putting their lines on the lot, yeah. lives on the line just to keep us safe. So we now have a, a number. We've been telling you multiple all day, but we know there are five fatalities, in, including an off-duty uh, Raleigh police officer, multiple injuries, uh, a couple of other people injured, a uh, canine officer uh, as well, non-life-threatening. Mm -hmm. um, and again, about 8 o'clock tonight, that suspect was um, contained. We'll get more information about as much of this and bring that to you coming up tonight, of course, at 11 o'clock. And, and when they they uh, uh, plan to have another conference in about an hour. Of course, we'll bring that to you here and on CBS17.com. Until then, have a good night.